Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwa and welcome to another one of my collection videos. Today we're going to talk about Resident Evil and some other things related to Resident Evil, like the movies, we got the games of course, I got a couple accessories and t-shirts and stuff like that that I want to show off also. Um, I figure, hey, it's October, October's all about Halloween, Halloween's about horror, horror is about zombies, you know, so I, I figured this is a good time to talk about it. It is October of 2015, by the way. I, I, I can't stress that enough, because usually, like, five years from now, people are going to watch this video and be like, hey, David, you're not updated with your collection. I'm like, duh, this is 2015, all right? I still have people who comment on the, a video I uploaded in 2008, and they're like, hey, David, where's Call of Duty Advanced Warfare? Where's, where's Grand Theft Auto V? And I'm like, have you, look at the date of when this video was uploaded. It's 2008. Like, why are you watching this video when I made, like, seven updated, you know, in the following years, you know what I'm saying? So, so uh, I just want to uh, let you know, yes, it is October 2015, there's some games missing, okay, and I know that, okay? I'm probably going to make, make another video a couple years from now, maybe next year, something like that, but this is 2015. You're watching a 2015 video. If 2015 is considered, oh, that's old, that's a long time ago, then go watch the, the, the updated version. I don't know where it is, it's probably on my YouTube channel, but there it is, all right? Um, Umbrella Core, the final chapter, the, the live action movie that's not out yet, alright? Um, there's also like uh, a few games missing. I have like HD versions, definitive versions, the next gen versions. I don't have those. Survivor, I don't have Resident Evil Survivor and Survivor 2. There's like one game for the Game Boy Color. I don't have that, alright? So you, you don't need to tell me. You don't need to tell me, oh, David, there's posters and t-shirts and action figures and comics. You don't need to tell me. I, I, I know that this is uh, not the ultimate guide. I'm going to say this up front. This is not the ultimate guide to the Resident Evil franchise. I, I just want to show you guys what I got, okay? So you don't need to tell me that I'm, I'm missing, oh, you need to buy these action figures. You need to buy this statue or whatever. You, know, you don't have the special edition with all the, you know, just... Just, just take what I have here. It's a pretty decent collection, okay? I have pretty good stuff here. So don't start saying stuff like, oh, you got stuff missing, David. So this is a horrible collection. This is this is decent for some people, okay? Um, we're going to go through all the games I have here. And we'll just go from there. I actually have a t-shirt here that I want to show off also. Here's a t-shirt, okay, for Operation Raccoon City. Not the best game, but when, when the game first came out, I was like, oh, wow. I can actually play with my friends and, and all that stuff. And, uh... Eh, the story was okay, all right. Got an old Game Informer right here. Uh, advertising Re Re Revelations 2, okay. Uh, it's also got, like, rumors for Resident Evil 7, as you can see there. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the video games. I sorted them out by system. You notice that? Like, I sorted them out by, this is the PS1, PS2, the Wii, 3DS, PS3, PS4, then I've got the movies, of course. So let's go ahead and talk about the um, the games in no particular order, by the way. I'm just sorting out by uh, what system I have on. For, for, so for PS1, I got the original, okay? They made like a director's cut version later on, but they took out a lot of the music and eerie, the, the scary stuff. Which I, I don't think that's what a director's cut is supposed to do. I think a director's cut is supposed to add, not take away. So I, I, I kept the original, all right? And I didn't even bother with the director's cut version. We got Resident Evil 2. I hear they're remaking this, by the way. Whoa! So there's two discs. What's going on? Alright. Resident Evil 3. Okay, Nemesis. And that takes care of the, uh, the PS1 era. Uh, that I own, anyway. For PS2, we got Code Veronica X. Okay, the, the game was originally out for the Game uh, not the GameCube, the uh, the Dreamcast. Okay, and then he poured out to other systems. Uh, speaking of not having Survivor, I do have Dead Aim though. It's pretty similar when it comes to gameplay. All right, we also got Outbreak. Both the Outbreak games. Okay. Uh, which mainly focuses on other characters in Raccoon City during a, the time of the, uh, the infestation. All right. Of course, we've got Resident Evil 4, and uh, they've made you know updated versions of this. Uh, I hear the GameCube version is actually has more stuff or something like that. 
And there's like a Wii version that you can use the nunchucks to, uh, to move around. Um, they actually have an updated version for PS4 and Xbox One, I believe. But uh, this is what I played it originally. I played it originally for the PS2, all right? And then we got Resident Evil Zero for the GameCube. For the first time in my life, I actually started playing this because uh, I just got a Wii. So I've been playing a lot of games. I, I never got the chance to play it. I, I watched the cutscenes on YouTube, but that's about it, all right? So for Wii games, we got... Oops, let's do this one first. The Chronicles. So we got the Umbrella Chronicles and the Dark Side Chronicles. Uh, these games, is kind of, it's a rail shooter, all right? So you can't move on your own. You just follow the camera and just shoot whatever's on screen, all right? Um, I like it, actually. I really like this game. Uh, I also have here the remake. They did it originally for GameCube, and they actually remade it for PS4 and stuff like that, too, with better controls. But I have here the Wii version. All right. They actually bought this controller, by the way. Um, where is it? I saw this, and I was like, oh, well, I'm going to the store and buy it. This is a stupid controller. I, I just don't like it. First of all, it's tiny. It doesn't fit my hands right. So I actually went back to the store. I actually got the GameCube controller, and I started con uh, using that. Uh, it's so much more comfortable for me. I'm not saying that's a bad controller. I'm just saying I just don't like it. Um, uh, it's not my thing, okay? But I know other people is like, oh, this is a perfect thing. It's all, it's all uh, symmetrical, you know? But uh, yeah, I, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> it actually looks extremely identical. Like, that's, that's how you do a remake, you know? Just update the graphics. Don't, don't change so much, you know? Uh, for 3DS, all I have is the Resident Evil, the Mercenaries 3D. All right? And I enjoy this game. I actually finished all the, all, all, all the levels and missions already. Uh, I love it, okay? Uh, one of the games that uh, I take along with me when I'm on a trip or something. That's a game that will kept, keep me entertained for a while. So let's go ahead and talk about the PS3 era. We got... Let's do 5 and 6 together. So there it is. I, I do have both 5 and 6. There's like... Yes, I, I know there's like a gold version of this game. There's like... Oh, Resident Evil 6, there's a version out there that ha comes with all the previous games together that you can download and stuff like that. Eh, you know... I just need the games itself. That, that, that's it, all right? I play with my friends, by the way. Yeah, it's, it's, uh... There's couch co-op in the games. And then we got Revelations. All right? I do have Revelations 2. Let's go ahead and do that, too. So here are the Revelations games. All right? So I got the first one on PS3. It originally came out for, a uh, you know, 3DS. And it played beautifully on the 3DS. Like, there's actually a demo for it on uh, Mercenaries. Uh, here we see Barry Burton again. You know, I, I recently got this game on a, like, it's still in my console and stuff like that. I've been playing it on Twitch and stuff like that just recently, like, just, just a couple days ago. I played it on Twitch for everyone, and people were like, what game is this? It looked really cool, you know? And there is, like, a, a multiplayer mode, like, there's a raid mode. I actually had my friend Tony come over and he played with me and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, we have fun with that. Here's Operation Raccoon City. It's like a what-if game. It's not exactly canon. But yeah, when it came out, I was really excited. I got the t-shirt for it and stuff like that. You play as some really weird characters who work for Umbrella. And they look like characters from Star Wars or something, you know? They got, like, powers and stuff like that. <clears throat> and then we got two movies related to the video games. This is actually canon to the video games. Resident Evil Degeneration and Damnation, all right? So it continues the story of Claire Redfield and Leon Kennedy and stuff like that. Uh, they're kind of boring, to be honest with you. Like, to be honest with you, these, these movies are actually kind of boring to me. But, uh, but whatever, it looks good. It looks really good. And then we got the live-action movies. I'm just going to lay it all out, okay? So this is my version of one. Okay, so it, had, it includes the first movie in there. So I bought Resident Evil Apocalypse twice here. All right. Here's Extinction, Afterlife, Retribution. All right. There's another one called The Final Chapter. It's coming out. Uh, there's been a lot of like Instagram photos and Twitter, Twitter uh, uh, pictures and stuff like that, behind the scenes stuff. Um, yeah. 
So that's the Resident Evil series that I, I, I have. Um, looking forward to the future, you know. It's been, uh, it's been a lot of changes through the years. I remember way back when, like actually I have the magazine right here. I was going to talk about this, so I, I almost forgot. Let me find the page real quick. This is a, uh, this is a magazine from 2001. And there's an article in here that I thought was pretty funny. And it talks about Resident Evil and saying how they uh, they just got exclusive to GameCube and people who play PS2 feel gypped because they're looking forward to playing new Resident Evil games. And uh, will the PS2 price drop? <laughs> you, you can buy it now for like 30 bucks, you know? But uh, yeah. Everyone's talking about exclusives and stuff like that during the PS2 era. They're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe Resident Evil went to the GameCube, you know. Uh, everyone keeps saying that the Nintendo systems are kitty, you know, kitty systems. But when Resident Evil moved over exclusively to GameCube, people freaked out, man. And, uh, and yeah. They need to do something like that again. Make Resident Evil completely exclusive to the Wii U. People will start buying Wii U's. I can guarantee you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so uh, make make Call of Duty exclusive to Wii U. You know, <laughs> so uh, yeah. Way back when, you know, when Nintendo was a little bit smarter, and the GameCube came out, they bought exclusive rights to Resident Evil. Um, and uh, yeah, people people bought the GameCube. You know, and then the Wii came out. And the Wii's like a complete hit. I don't know what happened. <laughs> uh, what, what's going on, Nintendo? Why are you flagging all our videos? Why are you... Someone needs to sue them, you know? Taking down all people's videos. Channels are closing down. You know? One girl, I believe she joined the YouTube partnership program for Nintendo. And she only got a penny. Pretty crazy stuff, man. What's going on with Nintendo? <laughs> they got a new CEO. Ho hopefully things change. But, uh, yeah. It's been really weird going on in the video game industry with Konami, you know. Konami's all like, oh, we're going to make mobile games now. Nintendo's only selling, like, those those Skylander action figure looking things, you know. Like, what's going on? Where is the video game industry heading, you know? <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. Uh, so, yeah, this is, this is my 2015 update for Resident Evil. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye.